Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partner to content creator for Expansive Worlds. And today I'm not going to hit that play button. This is a different video. This video is to help out my fellow Call of the Wild streamers, content creators, or gamers in general to learn how to multi stream TikTok with either YouTube. Or Twitch at the same time and this is a very easy setup using TikTok Live Studio but if you've tried to do it before like I did it really bogged down my system and it really hurt the performance of my gameplay everything was lagging my face cam was lagging it was an absolute disaster so I knew I had to figure out how to do it because I've always wanted to stream the TikTok at the same time before we go any further guys if you would please hit that like subscribe and notify bell and let's hop into it so we want to avoid all the lag we want to avoid the camera setup that's another thing camera was out of sync with what i was saying my lips were moving a second or two later you could see what was being said and i'm using a logitech camera C. 920 or 922 something like that in that neighborhood it's about a hundred dollar camera just ordered it off amazon so i'm sitting here like don't have a second desktop guys i'm going to throw a quick edit in here as i'm out here fishing it just hit me and i didn't include it in the footage no stream key required for this okay you just sign into your tiktok and tiktok live studio that's it. No stream key required. All right, guys, as you can see here, this is the setup of the way that I was doing it before. All right. I've got my camera in a place right now where it's not blocking anything. This is all blank down through. And you see the ad scene. We've got portrait scenes. We've got landscape scenes here. The landscape scenes I'm not too worried about. Most people are going to be on their phone watching the YouTube stream. So they're going to see this over here. If they go back and watch the VOD, they'll see this over here. This works a little bit like OBS Studio. And then again, you're probably thinking, well, Darth, why go through all this if you've just got one desktop? Okay, the key to that is it hit me. I have a laptop. Okay, so it was just figuring out how to get my gameplay over on my laptop and my camera over on my laptop. Now I could just set my laptop right here and turn my camera on and have it face me kind of at an angle because I got to be facing these two screens here for my main stream. My main focus is Twitch or, or YouTube. So to have TikTok aimed at me from the side, you know, that is one option. But then I thought, what if, what if instead of having a camera, came over here and we just deleted the camera? What if we did that? Come over here and we just delete the camera. So there's nothing there, right? I'm also going to show you how to set this up because that's the big thing about TikTok. Now, TikTok doesn't pay hardly anything at all. Um, for those of you all that have seen my big video, I've got a couple of big videos out there. One, one's at 3.3 million views. The other is at 550,000 views and TikTok pays nothing. I mean, I'll sign in to check my balance. I've made eight cents for the, they're absolute, but use them as a billboard for this right here to help you advertise for your channel and that will help your channel grow so that's it's not about making money directly from tiktok use it to help grow your channel okay so i'm going to show you how to set this up right here as well i'm just going to go ahead and delete that and we'll set it up again i'll show you how to set this stuff up um, i'm never going to use this again on my desktop anyway i'm on my desktop right now and that's why i have no issues deleting this stuff. All right, so up here, 
we've got that camera there. I don't even need it. Okay, so you can either, you can, I'll just hide it. If you don't want to delete it, I'll just hide it for now. Okay, so you have two views. You have your landscape here. And, and over here on the side, if you've never used TikTok Live Studio, this is just the different ways that you can look at it. So if you look at landscape mode here, that's all you're looking at. If you look at portrait mode, then that's all you're looking at. And you're just setting up, you know, how that looks and everything. Then if you go back into compatibility mode, it shows it all there. So once you go into compatibility mode, it show, it reset everything, right? So let's just look at camera only. That's that's what I'm looking at right there. I just click on that. You can click it on all this different stuff, blank or whatever. I've got it set on compatibility mode, camera only, just for my purposes of this video. So here's what you do. You're, and, and imagine you're on your laptop, not your main computer. So I was like, how am I going to capture the game over on my laptop? Because that's essentially what I needed was just a separate computer to run TikTok Live Studio because it uses so much resources. So here's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to go down here below the portrait scene. And I'm just going to add a source. Right now, all I have is a display capture. So here's what I want to do. I'm going down here. I want to change it to window capture. Capture a specific window. Because that way, if I have separate, uh, different things running or whatever, it's, I'm telling it exactly which one to capture, okay? What I want it to capture is my stream. Well, I'm not live streaming right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open Twitch up and pull a random video, probably my last Twitch stream. I'll just open that up, my last live window capture. And now I should see the option you can see right there. This is what, even though it's over on my other screen, this is what I'm wanting to capture. So I'm going to hit that. And I don't want it to show my cursor, add source. So here we are, right? And right now that's what it's going to show. What I want to do now is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go, I don't want to be seeing the chat and stuff like that. Uh, you can elect to do that, but TikTok, small screen, probably don't want to be showing your chat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to full screen over here. Now we've got that. As long as you don't move your camera, as you can see over here, this is my camera. This is exactly where my setup. So as long as I don't move that, this works perfect. If you leave it alone, if you move it, then you're going to have to come back to TikTok and move things. All right. So this is where I want it to look. I've got this here has been added over here. Okay. This is where you trick TikTok Live Studio into thinking that you have a camera. Because here's what's going to happen. If you add a camera, a virtual camera, it's going to be some lag if you do it like this because you're playing from the internet and you might lose like a millisecond or something and so your lips aren't lined up um, exactly, you know, and it's out of sync. But if you use your actual stream, you just do this. Just zoom it in. Just put it here and zoom it in on just your face. This is what you do. Just keep zooming. Until you get it where you want it. Now, I'm going to send it to the back as well. I'm going to go here, bring backward. Now, I'm going to go down here, and I want my game to be bigger. That's the thing about the this mode, though. I'm going to bring this to the front. 
Okay. This is going to come to the front. Send to the front. There. See, that's blocking all that. So what you do here is you hold the Alt button. I think it's Alt. Yeah, you hold the Alt button down and get this where you want it. And then center your game where you want it. You can't show everything. This is what it's going to look like. Okay. So now one thing that I'm going to do, I'll change the quality because it was a little pixelated. That's another thing. I'm glad that happened. So now look how nice and clear and smooth it is. On my screen, whatever resolution you're watching the video in is what it's going to project because you're actually just capturing that window. Okay. So I didn't like how grainy it was looking there. And I was like, man, it didn't look like that the other night. And that's why it was just, I had it on auto. So when I went over to my screen here that I'm watching this on, I just bumped it up to source 1080p. So now we're good. So now it looks like I have a camera. And there's my gameplay. So this is what it's going to look like. This looks really nice. But the other thing that I want going on is I want to be advertising for Twitch, YouTube. I want my TikTok viewers every now and then. I'll say, come on over, you know. So let's just go over here to add a source. And I'm going to go down here to where it says text. Right there. And then I want it to say YouTube. Darth. Long. I want that to be bold. And then I want to go down here where it says feel. And I'm going to select this color, just something close to the YouTube color. Something like that. And add source. So you see here, it puts it here. Just need to resize it. Play around with that. Drag on the corner. Drag it over where it bits. I like to put it up here. That. And voila. And then of course, if I, I like to add a Twitch one too, there you go. So that's advertising for me while I am. And then all I do is I hit live, hit go live. And then you can set your cover if you want. You can upload an image to put right there. If you want, you go in, you choose your topic, gaming, whatever game, or if you're not gaming, whatever your topic is, set all that stuff up. That's the easy part. Put your, ta your title in there, your about me, official partner, for cr uh, partner creator for Expansive Worlds, whatever. All these settings down here. Now, when you first download TikTok Live, it will set this stuff up for you automatically. Let it do its thing. And I didn't change a thing like it. It runs a test on your computer to see what your computer is capable of. And it sets your settings up for you. I didn't change anything. I kept whatever it said. Then you just hit go live. And this is what it will look like on your TikTok. I could go live right now and it would put this VOD up that I did yesterday and make it look like I'm live. But we don't want to do that. So all I would do. When I do go live, I can go click on the gear cog, click on this drop down. So if there is a second thing opened up here, just click on it and all this will change. Okay, like, like for example, let me minimize this. See, whatever you do, it's gonna, you know, so I'm just over here, I'm gonna open up a, another video. Just to, just to show you what happens. So every time you go live, you're going to want to change this. But my settings, as long as I use the same settings, my camera is going to be in the same spot. Everything's going to be in the same spot as long as I don't move anything. Now, if I move my camera, sometimes I'll move my camera over in the top right or top left, then I'm going to have to recenter it. But as long as I leave it alone, my camera is going to be where it should be. Now, let me see if I have a another video here where my camera is in the right spot, and I'll show you 
how to change that setting. Let's look, videos. Uh, hopefully my camera was in. I'm gonna do this video. It automatically adjusted for me. It automatically adjusted for me right there. All right, now here's the difference. I'm seeing a difference right now. Where's my camera, right? There it is. I went full screen and there's my camera. All right. I don't have to worry about any sync issues. It's coming from the same stream. My, what I say is going to line up with my mouth because all I did was zoom in on my camera. So there it is. So the big thing is don't move this camera. Or if you do, I mean, it's not hard to recenter it and, and fix. You'll just have to fix it. Remember that. So what I'm doing right now, this is from a Twitch stream. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to set my YouTube stream up exactly. I'm trying to put my camera exactly where it goes so that I can leave it alone. And no matter if I'm streaming on YouTube or Twitch, my camera and everything is going to be set up perfectly. That'll take a little bit of trial and error. But, and, and that's a change that you have to make in OBS. So my OBS, I may have to adjust the size of my camera. Um, as a matter of fact, in this video, let's go ahead and do that. I never even thought about that till just now in the recording of this video. I went and I streamed my Tackle Tuesday stream last night. Hello everyone, my name is Darth Sloan. And that's another thing, make sure Make sure that you mute because you don't want to echo all of your, um, make sure you mute your mic on your desktop because you, I have it sitting here beside me so that I can read chat on TikTok. I mute that mic on that desktop because all, everything that you need to hear, if you're in a discord party, if you're playing music, anything that is being heard on Twitch or YouTube, you're going to hear on TikTok because you're just playing that stream on TikTok the way we're setting this up. So let's look at um, my past live that I did last night. All right, I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit full screen. We're not. We're not too far off. We are not too far off. As a matter of fact, I think all I'm going to have to do, and I've got my quality on 720. Let's put it on 1080. There we go. That's nice and good. I could actually live with that, honestly. But I, I could stretch the top just a smidge. Looks like it's out a little. And all I would have to do is come over to OBS and do that and just move my camera just a smidge. And we are set up. I thought I put my camera right in the same spot. Looks like I got pretty close. That is my YouTube stream. Uh, we had Tackle Tuesday last night, in which I won, baby. We won the season. Scarecrow and Big Rig and Bro Bra, Johnny Crow, Dre Talk, a bunch of us. It was a blast doing that season. Yeah, you can see just a little bit above here. There's a little bit of space. I got really, really, really close. With that. All right, that looks good on YouTube, right? So just some fine tuning. Now I'm going to click on Twitch. I think we're golden, guys. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Switching back and forth between between both of them, right? Uh, the quality went back to 1080. Let me, or there it is, back on 1080. There we go. That is perfect on both. So now I'm set up to stream on YouTube and Twitch and TikTok. Not, not all three at the same time, but there we go. We've got our settings in there. Now, the other things that I'll tell you about TikTok Live, it's really hard to delete a comment. So if there are certain words that you don't want said, then you're going to need to go into your chat settings and you're going to go put in a keyword filter so you can just go down here and type any words that you don't want said because it is really hard. It's like your options are show, allow comment, yes or no, and that's it, right? 
we could not figure out how to delete messages. So if anybody wants to let me know that in the comments, I'll really appreciate that. Uh, just remember, mute your mic on your laptop because you don't want two mics going. That's always a recipe for disaster. And again, we've added two window captures here. Okay, one for up here and you zoom in on the camera and then one down here for the gameplay. And it's, it's kind of like you're tricking t TikTok into believing that you've got two cameras. And there's no lag issues because it is the same exact video. Everything lines up good. I had everybody tell me, man, it looks just like there's a camera there. There's no lag. Everything looks good. And you just have your laptop set in here. So I've got two monitors. Um, I'll put the description of my, in the description, I'll put my specs of my computer. But I've got two monitors here that I play on and stream on. And then I'll have my laptop set in here that I'll watch my TikTok chat on, things like that. So I hope this has helped you guys. Let me know in the comments if there was something that I didn't add. Any questions that you have, it's really simple. And I hope this helps my fellow streamers. Again, guys, if you would, please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. And if there's anything else that you have any questions of, don't be afraid to ask. So you guys have an awesome day. We'll catch you in the next video.